Welcome to our exploration of stacks and queues. We'll cover their fundamental principles, operations, and real-world applications, equipping you with essential tools for efficient data management in programming. Stacks and queues are fundamental data structures. Stacks operate on a last-in, first-out principle, similar to a pile of books where you add or remove from the top. This is crucial in programming for function calls and expression evaluation. Queues, on the other hand, follow a first-in, first-out approach, like people waiting in line for tickets. They're essential for scheduling tasks and managing data buffers. The key difference lies in how these structures manage order. Stacks prioritize the most recent data for immediate access, while queues maintain the original order of data entry. This order-dependent behavior is vital in many algorithms and system processes. Understanding these structures and their contrasting principles is essential for efficient data management in specific scenarios, helping solve complex computational problems effectively. Let's examine stack operations closely. Push, pop, and peak form the core methods of a stack. Push adds an element to the top, pop removes the topmost element, and peak accesses the top without removal. The Python implementation shown uses a list as the underlying structure. The push method appends to this list, pop removes and returns the last element, and peak returns the last element without removing it. This demonstrates how abstract data structures can be built using Python's built-in types. Stacks are crucial in function calls. When a function is called, its parameters and local variables are pushed onto the stack. Upon return, these are popped off, enabling efficient memory management and supporting recursive calls. Stack operations are typically very efficient, with push and pop having O of one-time complexity. This constant time performance makes stacks ideal for scenarios requiring fast insertion and removal at one end. Moving on to queues, let's examine their core operations, and queue and dequeue. And queue adds an element to the end while dequeue removes from the front. This first-in, first-out FIFO principle contrasts with the last-in, first-out LIFO behavior of stacks we discussed earlier. The Python implementation shown demonstrates a simple queue class. The init method initializes an empty list, on queue appends items to this list, and dequeue removes and returns the first item. This structure is particularly useful in scenarios requiring ordered processing. For instance, in task scheduling, queues ensure tasks are handled in the order they arrive. In breadth-first search algorithms, queues help explore graph nodes level by level, maintaining the discovery order. Understanding these operations and their applications is crucial for efficient data management in various computational problems, building upon our earlier discussion of data structure principles. Palindromes offer a practical application of stacks. Our Python function uses a stack to check if a word or phrase reads the same backward as forward. It first converts the input to lowercase and removes non-alphanumeric characters. Then it pushes each character onto the stack. The last in first out property of stacks is key here. By comparing the original string with the characters popped from the stack, we effectively compare it with its reverse. This method is efficient, with O of n time complexity where n is the string length. It's particularly useful for longer strings or when memory usage isn't a concern. However, the two pointer technique, which compares characters from both ends simultaneously, can be more memory efficient for very long strings. Both methods have their merits and choosing between them depends on specific requirements and constraints of the problem at hand. Stacks and queues serve distinct purposes. Stacks, operating on last and first out, excel in function calls and undo operations. They push and pop elements from the top, making them ideal for backtracking algorithms. However, beware of stack overflow when exceeding capacity or underflow when popping from an empty stack. Queues, following first and first out, shine in task scheduling and buffering. They enqueue at the rear and dequeue from the front, maintaining chronological order. But inefficient dequeue operations can hamper performance in large-scale applications. Choosing between these structures hinges on your required access pattern. For reverse order preservation, like in depth-first searches, use stacks. For maintaining original order, as in breadth-first algorithms, opt for queues. Both are crucial for order-dependent data management but their specific applications differ based on how they preserve sequence. Understanding these nuances is key to leveraging them effectively in complex algorithms.